Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Pert, it's back in with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this awesome wallet outfit on the screen here. So with this outfit, it has the checkable trousers, the cop belt, the racing gloves, and the galaxy top, after the latest patch of 1.50. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below, and if this worked for you as well. And if you like this outfit as well, let me know in the comments. And also, if you want to see a certain outfit, like a black joggers outfit, or just any joggers, or like a checkboard outfit, then just let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure to go ahead and do that for you guys. And also leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my videos. So anyway, with this video, we'll be doing the transfer glitch, so you will lose all the outfits except from that outfit you have on. So make sure you have that outfit on that you don't want to lose, or just like your main outfit. So yeah, just make sure you have your main outfit on. So let's go, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. So for the first step, you'll want to make sure you have the outfit on that you want to keep. So I'm going to equip this outfit that I don't want to lose. So now once you have your outfit on, you just want to bring up your pause menu and then go to online. But then also make sure your location is on last location, so you spawn at the shop. So you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, and you want to go over to swap character. So now you just want to wait until you load it into swap character, and you should see the two characters walking out. So make sure you delete your female character as well, so like when you start this, you're, you're able to edit a new character. But if you already don't have a second character then that's fine, just go ahead and edit the second character, make sure it's a female, and then just load into GTA Online. So I'll see you guys once I'm in GTA Online. So once you guys load into CC online, just like I have here, you want to bring up your pause menu to check if you have any closals on the map, but I don't here, but if you don't, it's completely fine, you just want to go ahead and find a new session, just like I do here, and then you just want to wait until you load into a new session, but if you already have some closals on the map, that's completely fine, you just want to make your way over to the closals, but I just had to find a new session, so then I had closals on the map, so now once I've loaded in this time, I do have closals on the map, so you just want to go ahead and steal like in a streetcar, and then just make your way over to the closals, just like I do here, So now once you're at the clothes store, you want to make sure you your female character has no accessories on because some standard outfits come with the accessories. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into the first outfit. So for the first step, you want to go over to the pants section and you want to go over to jeans. Then you want to scroll down to number 38 on the jeans section, which should be the black cropped jeans. So as you can see, should, right here should be number 38. You just want to go ahead and buy them and then equip them. So now once you've bought them, you want to make your way over to the top section. So now once you're at the top section, you want to scroll down to leather bomber jackets. So now once you're at leather bomber jackets, you want to go down to number 6, which should be a gold SN leather jacket. So you just want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you've bought that, you want to make your way over to the shoes section. Now once you're at the shoes section, you want to go to high heel boots. And you want to go down to the deluxe midnight combat boots. So uh, they should be number 24. So you just want to go ahead and buy them. Now once you've bought them, you just want to back out of the shoe section. Now once you've done that, you want to make your way over to the accessory section, just like I do here. Now once you're at the accessory section, you want to go down to the gloves. You want to go down to number 4, which should be the light woodland gloves. So now once you've equipped them, this is the first outfit done. You just want to go ahead and save that into slot 1. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to save it as um, what the name already is, like new outfit 1 or whatever it is like that. Now for the second outfit, you want to go over to the pants section once again. And you want to go to sports pants. And you want to buy sporting muscle pants. That should be number 1 on the sports pants section. So now once you've done that, you want to go make your way back over to the top section. Now you want to scroll down to work jackets and then just go down to number 9. It should be this peach camo field jacket. So once you've bought that, you want to back out of there and you want to go down to tuck t-shirts, just like I do here. Now you want to go to number 75, so you want to scroll up, just like I do here. And you want to keep scrolling until you find number 75, which should be the blue digital t-shirt. So you just want to go ahead and equip that. Then you just want to go ahead and save it, just like I do here. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to the main desk to show you the two outfits you, sh you should have. So these are the components to make the outfit in the thumbnail. So you should have these two outfits saved, I'm going to show you here. So now once you have them outfits, you just want to back out of this menu. You want to bring up your interaction menu and then you just want to go ahead and take the easy way out. 
So what this will do is will actually force a game save to just save the two outfits, the components that we just made. So now once you've loaded back in from taking the easy way out, you want to bring up your pause menu, and you want to go down to creator, and then you just want to go ahead and press X or A to just start up creator. So now you just want to wait until you load it into creator. So you just want to wait until it loads down. So now once it's loaded, you want to go to create a race, and then you want to go ahead, you want to go ahead and select the land race. So now once you select a land race, you want to go to the race details. Now for the title and description, you can just put anything. Like I just put a bunch of letters, so like I just put a bunch of G's. Now for the photo, you just want to take a random photo of the sky, it doesn't really matter. But now for the maximum players, you want to make sure that it's set to 2, and the route type point to point. You want to make sure you've done them too. And now just to speed it up, I'm going to change it to the supercars, and just select my supercar. Now for the place trigger, you want to go onto the place trigger. Now you just want to bring up the pause menu and go over to the airport. So you just want to press X to walk over to the airport. So I do here. So now once you're at the airport, you want to place the trigger roughly where I do. It doesn't have to be exactly, just roughly around. Now for the lobby camera, it can just be a random picture again. Now for the checkpoints, you want to make sure they're roughly around 0.72 to 0.78. So if you want, you can just copy what I do. It doesn't have to be the exact same, it doesn't really matter. You want to make it roughly the same. So you'll see in a second, mine is 0.75. It can be like 0.73 or 0.77, that's completely fine. It doesn't really matter. Now, now once you've done that, you want to back out, now you want to go over to test, and then just go ahead and test the race. This will only take a couple of seconds, so you just want to make sure that you test the race. Now once you test the race, you'll get this pop up on your screen. You just want to go ahead and accept that alert. Now bring up your pause menu, go over to online. Now you just want to go down to choose character, and then just go ahead and select choose character. Now for the next part, you just want to wait until you load it into choose character. Now you'll have to delete your female character, so you just want to, you just want to hover over your female character. You want to go ahead and type in delete to delete the character then you want to go and back out into story mode you want to make sure you don't load into the male character so otherwise i'll mess up the glitch you want to make sure you back out into story mode so i'll see you guys when i'm in story mode so now once you've loaded into story mode you just want to bring up your pause menu and you want to go over to online then you'll go over to play GTA Online, then you want to start an invite only session or if you don't want to you can just go into a public lobby but make sure you don't go into a close friend session or just anything like that because then it has a chance of messing up the glitch so I just recommend going into an invite only session so now you just want to go ahead and wait till you load into GTA Online so if you had your last location on you will spawn back at the store just like I did here if you didn't just make your way over to any closed store or just go into your apartment so now you just want to go ahead and save your main outfit in the last slot or just the outfit you brought over. I'm gonna go ahead and name it main because it is my main outfit. And you also should see the two components. So now you just want to make your way over to the top section and you want to go down to the racing jerseys. So you just want to keep scrolling until you see racing jerseys. Now once you found racing jerseys you want to go over to the Viper Mode Cross which should, be, which should be the last one in the racing jerseys section. You just want to go ahead and equip that. Now you want to bring up your pause menu go over to online, jobs, play job and then rockstar create and then versus and you just want to go ahead and start up cookie cop. So now you just want to wait until you load into Cookie Cop. Now once you've loaded into Cookie Cop, you'll see the menu. So you want to go down to clothing and you want to make sure that is on player owned. So now once you have that, you can just confirm the settings. And now you want to wait for a friend or just a random person to join. I just wait for a random person to join. It doesn't really take too long. Sometimes it might take a little while. Now I just want to go ahead and start the mission. Now once you're in the mission, you want to scroll right um, twice on the D-pad. So you want to press right on the D-pad twice. Then you just want to go ahead and ready up. So you should see this one in the outfit here. Now if you're with a friend, you just want to get your friend to ready up, or if they're just a random person, you just want to wait until the random person is ready up. As you guys can see here, the random person just readied up. So now you just want to wait until you've loaded into the mission. So you just want to wait until you can move around. Now once you can move around, you want to bring up your interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and then you want to go left or right to equip an earpiece or a rebreather, then just quit the job by using your phone. So now you just want to wait until you load back into GTA Online, and you should see, just like I did here, I spawned in with my modded outfit. If you didn't, then you must have done something wrong, but it should work 100% of the time, so it works every time for me. Now, if there's a car next to you, you just want to go ahead and get in that, and then make your way to the front of the ammunition store. Now you can just go ahead and save the outfit, and then you can delete the components as well. So I'm just going to save it under on top of my main outfit, and just delete the components. Now, this is the outfit done, but I'm going to show you guys how to merge the helmet on. Because with checkerboard clothing, if you add like a helmet or something, it gets rid of the checkerboard and it does also do that with the galaxy top. But if you don't want to see that, then you can just click off the video here. So now you just want to go to your helmet section, make sure you have the outfit saved as well. And then you want to go to helmets and scroll until you find the black bulletproof. 
now once you have the black bulletproof helmet on you want to make your way over to the pier just like i do here so now you want to land at one of the telescopes you should see one of these blue telescopes here there's also ones on the beach which you might have saw in the background so you just want to run past the telescope and spam right in the d-pad then bring up your interaction menu you should see it doesn't go into the telescope now you want to go ahead and equip the outfit that you um the one outfit you just saved and you should see the helmet merges on now you can just go ahead and make your way over to any clothes store and just save that or if you want it is closer to go to the mask store and save it but i just made my way over to the clothes store to save it so once you're at the clothes store you can just go ahead and make your way and save it so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my content and also comment down below if this did help you out and if this did get you this modern outfit so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been your boy perks and peace Thank you.